What's up, everyone? So we're going to be setting up our uh, email provider service so that we can send professional emails. You're going to need to set up your own dedicated domain. So it's really easy. All you're going to do is you're going to need two things. One is your name cheap account and two, you're going to need to go to settings and email services. And so what you're going to do is once you're logged into your domain. So I'm going to, for this example, use going 100 as my domain uh, do whatever you want and then what you're going to do is go back to your uh, settings here click on dedicated domains and you're going to add a domain so you could put lc like they have or mail or whatever that is for you um, it just really depends on you but this one has lc and then i can do going 100.com and then this will send from the subdomain of uh, lc and then all I have to do is add these domains. So I'm gonna add this manually. So I can either click continue, and it's setting up the domains, uh, setting up everything, receiving the DNS, and then I add it manually, or which th this is where I add it manually. So um, since I haven't done it already, this is how you do it manually. So all you have to do is you're gonna copy these parts. So um, when we go to domains, you're going to go to advanced DNS, kind of like when we did when we added the A record, A record and C name here. Now we're going to add these. So C name is going to be email. Actually, it's going to be lead connect. So this would be LC. And it's mailgun.org and then automatic. And I put one minute. So I have that. And then let's go over all of these settings. So C name is actually this one. So as you can see, it says email.lc.going100. And all we want to grab is everything before the domain. So this is actually going to be changed to this. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to LC and go ahead and change the MX records. So this is going to be CNAME text. And then this down here is going to be your mail settings. So you have to actually switch from uh, whatever they have I think is, um, I hate that that pops up. Whatever it is that they have under, oh, God damn, how do I fucking close this? Um, click custom and then you're gonna add this information here. So MX record, uh, the, the mxa.mailgun.org and one, and then MX record a mx2. Dot, dot two. So I'm gonna copy this. This first one is gonna be LC. The second one's gonna be LC. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm both of these. So again, just to be clear, all you're copying is the first part up until the domain. So once it goes to going, like whatever that subdomain is, you're going until this version of it. So, so like for instance, text.cxd. I have the text right here, right here, pick domain. I'm going to save it here. And then I'm going to copy the record, which is right here, and paste it in here and save. And then the next one is LC. And I'm going to go ahead and grab all of this paste it in and click and that should be all of them so that if you if we look at redo this we have five we have two texts one two we have a c name we have a c name right here and then uh we should have two because the ww and then the, where we're sending the mail from and then finally we have two mx records which are down here and all we had for this information is lc LC down here, and then the required value and required value. And then all we'll do is just click verify. It's going to say that this is, these are all verified, but this one's missing. So uh, I need to actually have, it's, it's, it's wrong. So let me look at this. It's probably right. It just needs to update like, And then uh, sometimes it just messes up and yeah, see, it's already verified. So as you can see, all verified. Um, so it's gonna say 
It's gonna take 60 seconds to propagate, so it's all good. I have my dedicated, this should be dedicated already. Um, verify now. Verify domain. And ultimately what we want is once this is all verified, uh, which it should be right now, we'll get the green light and then we can send mail, email. So um, sometimes this is a little finicky, so just bear with it. Um, there we go. So it's now pending. It's once this is uh, done, it will give me the uh, LLC. And if I just refresh this, it should probably be done. Uh, it's really, really quickly, to be honest. Um, verify now. Let's just try this again. There we go. So now it's been issued. Uh, we have our name, email. Uh, we can change some of this stuff, I think. So if we set headers, we can change it from Brandon Duff, Brandon at going100.com. And so now I have my, uh, my headers, shared IP. This is another thing. I wouldn't worry about it right now because it's not that important, but a shared IP versus a, uh, a dedicated IP are, is much different in sending, but we won't worry about that right now. But just to test this out, we're gonna go ahead and send myself an email. So I have Brandon Duff here, and I'm gonna send it from uh, Brandon at going100.com. Subject is gonna be uh, hello there. Hey. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and send it. And once I go to, so uh, invalidate. I don't know what that means, but if I go to my uh, inbox and refresh it, as you can see, it just refreshed and I received my email. Uh, Mailed by going 100, going 100, all good. So reply to LC going 100. So if I respond back to this, hey Brandon, what's up, man? You can see that uh, I will have that email address in my account. So pull it up. And if I probably click off and click back on, um, in the conversations, it'll, it'll refresh. Sometimes, there it goes. What's going on? And then there we go. Hey, what's going on? So that's as easy it is, as it is to set up your professional email. If you need to watch this a few times, go ahead. Um, but that's how you set up your professional email.